Hello and welcome to Old Lady Plays. I'm Kate, the old lady, and this is Advanced Squad Leader. ASL Scenario A, the guards counterattack. An intro and setup video, and the reason we're doing an intro and setup video is because I'm starting a little series about this uh, game. And this scenario particularly is going to be my introduction to it. The reason that I've chosen this scenario is that I've owned this game about 25 years. I played it for about 10 and then I had to put it away when I moved into my apartment and I haven't played it since. And that was 15 years ago. So it has been some time since I played and that's why I wanted this scenario. It's simple. It's infantry only. It's there's not even any, you know, big support weapons. There's no ordnance. It's as basic bare bones as it gets. And I'm happy with that. I think it'll be perfect just to get me used to the rules again, the way the sequence of play works, and so on. Anyway, I hope that you will enjoy this video and this little series. It's going to run twice a week, about half an hour in length each time. And while I won't be teaching the game as such, I'm not going to teach you how, how to do things like use the IFT or things like that. But what I will do is teach you the general ideas behind how to use the rules, all right? You need to learn the rules. There's no substitute for learning the rules yourself. It, it, it's a daunting task, I understand, but there isn't any substitute for it. But once you have learned the rules, then what? That doesn't magically give you the understanding of what you can do with the rules, how fire and movement works, and all of those kinds of things. So that's kind of the niche that I'm looking for here. I hope you will come along with me. All right, let's have a look at the board. And I think we will see that the rally phase indicator is lit up. That's to tell you where you are in the turn. It'll move through the turn as we do. And as a further feature, when we shift to a phase in which the snipers will be active you'll see as it has just now the sniper activation number or SAN pop up on the screen and it will stay there during any phase in which it is active any phase in which it's not on the screen it's not active this is a nice way to rem start remembering which phases it matters in because it doesn't activate in every phase and that's important to know so, um, let's have a look at the strategy that we've planned here. The overall concept in this scenario is that the Russians are fighting the Germans in Stalingrad in 1943, I think it is. Uh, could be 42. Not sure. My memory is not great for these kinds of things. Anyway, we're in Stalingrad and we are fighting over a small housing complex and sort of, you know, small city area here. The Russians have these four buildings at the start, these four stone buildings, and that's important. That's these gray ones. And the Germans have five stone buildings at the start, and that's these gray ones. Now, the Russians have to take two more of these buildings than the Germans take from the Russians. So if the Germans take one building from the Russians, then the Russians will need to take three buildings from the Germans. I hope that's clear. The Germans set up first as the scenario defender. And here's how I have set it up. The defenders in this building over here are all spread out because we're anticipating an attack by the guards to try and get that building and we don't want to give them any easy footholds. In the central building, this little factory in the middle here, we have uh, a machine gun nest pointing this way, um, which will become very important, I think, when the Russians try and take that building. And we have another small group that are looking the other way. This building is the weakest point, I think, of the German defense. And it is protected on the flanks by these two machine gun nests right here and here with 
fire arcs that will allow them to not only fire straight down the streets to the north in front of them, here and here, but also will allow them to cover each other to some extent, firing across the, um, the hex grid. So I'll show you like this and like this, they sort of cover each other a little bit. So that's kind of handy. Okay, let's look at the Russian plan. So the Russian plan is to approach the building on the left here, on the west side, the Russian right, the German left, by laying in down some prep fire uh, from some of these groups, these guards on the left side here, and trying to see if we can break some of these squads so that it'll be a little easier for one group to make a dash across the street and try and get into the building. And I don't mean literally a dash in the ASL rule sense, I mean in the, you know, sort of literary sense. They will move across the road. Probably a salt move across the road. Just a thought. So the Germans, of course, will be trying to fight this with machine guns. Uh, the main opposition is that first group in the building in the center here so we will prep fire on that from the building just to its north with our own machine gun hoping to take that out and prevent them from being able to do anything useful the guys on the east end these ones over here will probably do very little other than start trying to take down this machine gun nest in the south side this one here so that they can begin to uh, prepare for their attack on the factory after the guards have taken this housing complex on the west. So that's the plan of attack. We have the guards sweeping down from the west, taking that building, moving into the center, and then with the help of the frontline troops a little further to the east, taking the building from both sides and hopefully winning the uh, scenario. The thing the Russians will have to remember, and this is absolutely crucial, is that the Germans can foil their plans by taking a building behind them. So if the Germans, if the Russians are foolish enough to rush all their forces into that center building to take it and win the scenario, the Germans could sneak a, a, a squad into one of the Russian buildings and make it so that the Russians don't win the scenario because contesting the building would mean that the Russians no longer controlled it. So it's kind of interesting. It's it's going to be an interesting scenario. The Germans have some ways to win. It's not all on the Russian side here, despite the presence of that huge battalion of of uh, of well, several companies anyway of the guards over here on the west side. The guards are special. They have high firepower for Russians, six. They have a short range, two, because of the assault weapons that they tended to use, things like submachine guns, largely. Uh, they weren't very much rifle armed. And that's why they have much shorter range. They also have higher morale than the usual Russian troops. They've also got, as another advantage, the, ra the best Russian leader in this particular scenario, on their side with a 10-2 directing their fire over on this side. The Germans are blessed for the defense with a lot of leaders. I think they have five for a low number of squads and a lot of light machine guns. There are light machine guns all over the place on this scenario and they're going to be a problem I think for the Russians. So we're gonna have to wait and see how that goes but I'm really looking forward to seeing how this develops. I hope you are too. One more thing, I did want to point out that we have on the Russian side one special situation. Uh, as per the rule book, the Russians can choose to swap out one eight zero leader for a nine zero commissar, and I have done that. The commissar is a special leader, be and I'll explain how they work when we get to that part of the game when their special powers start to take effect, but we'll see how that goes. They, they don't have a leadership modifier, like so there's, they're, they're 9-0, but they can be very effective uh, at what they do, and 
what they do is getting Russians back on the front line. So maybe just not all of them. Anyway, on that dark note, let's leave this one behind. We're going to come back with the first turn in a few days. You will see the Russian first, or excuse me, yes, the Russian first turn as the guards counterattack. I hope you have a great day and take care.